We are live. We are live. Yo, what up, people? How's it going? What you, what you want to say? You're happy. How you say it? What's today? Happy Friday. <laughs> I don't know why it sounds so echoey in here for, but it's all good. Let's go ahead and get our song queued up. We got a good conversation coming tonight for you guys. I'm a little charged. I'm a little energized, so I'm looking forward to this. Let's get started. Welcome to the Love Life Legacy Podcast. Love Life Legacy Podcast. Yeah, yeah. Love Life Legacy Podcast. It's a podcast. It's a podcast. Hey! Welcome to the Love Life Legacy Podcast. Love Life Legacy Podcast. Love Life Legacy Podcast. It's a podcast. It's a podcast. Hey! Hey, 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 hey. hey. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Good. Let's get started. Uh 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 uh. Uh eh 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 eh. What up, people? On this Good Friday, we got a good conversation coming. I'm a little revved up. Um, I remember the last two times. Eva led the conversation because it was something that she wanted to talk about. And now I think it's something that I want to chime in based on what we have been seeing as a constant thread going around about this 50-50 split. <laughs> there was, just to give you a background, a context to what, what we talking about. So there was a conversation in our group, the Love Life Legacy Podcast group, if you are not in the group, please join. We need more members. Um, a guy had uh, been paying bills for 18 years, and he said it ain't his wife's job to pay a bill. She's never paid a bill. It's a man job. It's a real man job to pay bills. And, you know, a woman ain't supposed to pay bills, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay, get it, right? People don't know who saw that video, but if you've never seen the Jan Levan Zant, he and his family got brought on that show and his whole family had major grievances about him, his character and him not being there as active and as present as he thought he did. He spent a lot of time apologizing. He spent a lot of time learning, growing and, and trying to figure out how he can make it right with his family. So, as I'm seeing these comments on this thread. Well, can we precursor that, though? Sorry. Go ahead. Only from the fact is that, you know, if this man, but I, don't, I, I have not seen the show, but, you know, the video that I saw that surfaced was an old video of him saying that he was married to his wife for 18 years. Yeah. He pays all the bills. Right. You know, his wife ain't never had to pay a bill in 18 years. And he was very pride. Pr I mean, proud of himself for that. Right. Now, I don't know about you. Well, I do know about you. You do know about me. <laughs> but, <laughs> I'll say but it. But most men, you know, especially most men that work that hard are away from home. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Got gotcha. you. So what I'm hearing, because I did not see the video, mm -hmm. is that they were complaining about he was never there for them. You know, things like that. But he was working. Right. We have heard of, I forgot, one podcast guy that you listen to. He talks about how he doesn't spend t that much time with his family um, because he's building. Yes. And he's making uh, money. I cannot remember So it's name. like, so, yeah, he but made. He also, but he also, as a precursor, said that he regrets the lack of time he can spend with his family, okay. especially his children, because he misses so much. Uh, Gary you can't, V. You can't do it Gary all. Gary V. You can't Gary do v. it all. So that man was priding himself because that's what he felt that he had to do for his family was to work hard for them. Mm -hmm. And in return, it sounds like, because I did not see it, that they resented him for it, but they had want for nothing. Right. But that's all I want to say about that. And I get that. As a man, I'm on both sides of this, of this, so I think I have. I'm qualified to talk about qualified. this. Qualified, I am. <laughs> and let me let me tell you what I mean by that. Why do we sound so echoey? Let me just keep going. I don't know. My wife has. A, th there was a period of time my wife didn't work for eight years, right? No re no, no paid job. No paid job. She but worked. my entrepreneurship stuff. Yeah, King's and, Kettle Corn. But as far as the bills and keeping the house afloat, that was my job. Six figure earner. 
down from six figures, still had to make it work. I made it work. She didn't work. On the other side, now with my wife is working because she is gaining a doctorate. She gets paid <laughs> well for the doctorate she's gaining. And we are a team and we share in everything, right? Mm-hmm. We have been successfully married for 16 years, mm-hmm. right? And it works. We can't speak for every marriage, right? You do you, well, however that marriage looks, right? We just hope that you're successful. But it, it it peeves me when I see so many ladies that has something to say that has not experienced a successful relationship. Now, I need you, if you are on this live, share this, please. Because I it is my hope that they hear... I had to take the earrings out. Like, we about to fight. This message. No, because <laughs> you went in the last time. I'm being good tonight. Well, that's fine. I guess I'll be the villain. <laughs> because if there was a post that my brother, I hope he don't mind me putting them out there, but there was a post, Horace, that was commenting on, and I was getting caught up on it. And you see these women, and all they're saying is, if we splitting, that's a roommate. Hey man, that's a roommate. If he uh, if he ain't paying the bills, then he better be doing A B C D. If I'm doing A B C D, and uh, uh, then blah blah blah, whatever the case may be. I respectfully said, I dare any of you women to post your man. <laughs> why you did that? I dare you. You want me to tell you why? <laughs> and I haven't seen it yet. But they trying to look for a good picture. <laughs> Yo, the fact of the matter is, they won't be able to. And How I understand. You know for no, sure. I, I ain't seen it yet. But maybe they go don't, to the polls. Maybe, I ain't seen it. Okay. maybe they don't. They're now, not. I don't you know, mean. I don't mean to sound condescending, and I don't mean to sound like I'm attacking. But the facts are the facts. You can have an opinion, but your opinion is invalidated from experience. You don't have no experience. You need to shut up. You need to shut up and maybe you can tune into the Love Life Legacy podcast <laughs> and you can learn. Learn. Uh, we can't share this post in the private group. Uh, I don't know who that is. I can't see you. But if you go to our Facebook, the Love Life Legacy podcast business page, we're live in there and you can share it from there. Um. If you, if you tune in, you can see, you can hear, you can listen, maybe you can get a little education. Am I saying we're perfect? Absolutely not. But I just feel like from a qualified place, we can speak on this, especially me as a man, right? I can speak on this. I just don't like when I see, especially our women, that has everything to say, but nothing to show. That's a bar. Bro, that is a man. Give myself one of them. You crazy? <laughs> you crazy? Women that have everything to say and nothing to show. If you have words, back it up with action. I ask to see a man. Let me see your man. And if you don't have a man, maybe you just need to learn. And again, it's not a shot. I want to help, but I can't or we can't help if all you have is opinions without fact so my question is okay i was going to i was going to swing it to you okay as a woman mm. that earns that uh, mm. that's educated mm, okay that shares in the expenses baby i'm careful come on this okay. me <laughs> okay you're educated i am getting your doctorate mm-hmm. you're a good earner <laughs> yes you're you're successful mm, yeah Got it. Well, how do you feel being that I am the head of the household? I feel great. Okay. <laughs> well, before I answer that, I want to go, go back ahead. just a little go bit, ahead. okay? So I think these women that are saying about 50-50, maybe they're going, they're going off their, I'm assuming they're going off their own experience and what they feel, what they need in a relationship. But they maybe, don't know what they well, need. Well, maybe they have been in a relationship with a man before. And, you know, and it just didn't work out or or they end up paying all the bills or maybe, you know, it just it's just so many different dynamics from their experience. But we don't want to invalidate 
their experience. We just want to let them know that there is an evolved perspective. I want to invalidate their opinion. Their opinion. Not their experience. Okay. I'm telling them to hush on the opinion side. Okay. That's it. That's it. That's it. Okay. We got a comment. Okay. But the funny part, two things. One, women that speak that rhetoric don't realize that the way the, that they think also means the women stays home and take care of home executively, exec, exclusively, exclusively excuse, excuse me, which goes into part two, that in today's society, the average home needs two incomes to function facts. We are not in the 1950s. That brother seems old, right? It was no disrespect to that brother. By all means, keep me, I hope, you know, he learned something from young Levon's aunt, whatever, but that's an old mentality. The e-commerce, the economy don't work that way no more. Don't work that way. My wife and I combined make well over six figures. And it still ain't enough. It's not enough. So unless you can speak from experience, ladies, because I didn't see the men commenting on this. It was all women. You just got to sit, humble yourself, and learn. It's not reality to think that a man, unless you're dealing with dope boys, somebody that punch in at 12, clock out at 6. That's all know. you. This is a very touchy subject for me because I do want to go in really hard because I do have a very strong perspective on this. And Horace just said, I can't wait to watch Eva defend this. <laughs> let, me, let me be honest. Like my husband was trying to say, you know, the educated thing, I don't think is, you know, I'm in like the top percentage here. Um, the, the money thing, I don't even want to talk money. But what I want to say here is that my husband is fine with me making what I make yes. and what I bring to the table, even yes. if it's a little more than what he brings. Yeah. But my husband is the head of household in here. And it's not the, from the fact of the 50-50 income thing. I really don't care about the 50-50 income because what he brings to the table in my house supersedes my income. And I don't think, I don't know if some men, some females just didn't have real men before, but like my husband said in our conversation today, I, I don't want to be the protector of this home. He's mm. the head of household because if anybody try to come up in don't here, take my example. or if anything should happen, don't take he's my the head. <laughs> he's going to make sure he is the protector of our home. If something wrong, I go to him. You know, so it's like, I don't head a household. That conversation is not just about money because money ain't, ain't enough. You know, what I did like about, what I do enjoy about being a woman is that rather, I have had zero income, little to no income, and now I have great income. And I still make my house a home. There you go. You know what I'm saying? So I love there that I go. can bring that aspect to it, no matter how much money I am bringing to the household there you go. or whatever. But what my husband brings to the household, my husband now went from six figures to to how much it was, like $9 an hour mm -hmm. or something like that. And he still was able to make sure we had a roof over our head, bills was taken care of or Do whatever. What we learned how to survive no, no matter what. But I will never disrespect him or feel like I have a one-up on him from how much that I make. The same fast that I can make it, I could lose it, and then what? You know, you just, feel, I, don't, I don't know, I don't want to talk on behalf of females or feel like I'm talking down to females, but we have to humble ourselves, and this is what I'm going to say. We have to really stay in our places, right? Man, say because that again. if we're not, say if that again. we're not in a position to wear ass, we could defend our, and I'm not saying we can't defend ourselves, but if something was to go down or something was to happen, we should enjoy the cushion those of us that are in relationships, that our husbands or our you know, significant other is whatever can take the brunt of that for us. There because go. there's some wounds and exposure we can't handle. We can't handle mentally. We can't, hand, we can't handle financially by ourselves. We just can't handle emotionally. We can't handle spiritually. And having him to keep us safe, to, to keep us shield from certain certain situations. There are probably bills that had happened in the past that I still know nothing about. <laughs> I wasn't affected by it. Yeah, and I love having that peace of mind. Yes. So all I'm saying is the whole 50-50 thing, I don't know what relationships y'all endured. I just pray that y'all get stronger relationships. Um, and, you know, for those of you that do have a man, uh, I don't know how he would feel about... You know, he's not the he's a roommate. 
you know, I, I just that's really, based on the men that I just I just with. really think that's just disrespectful. It's not being you know a roommate. So that means if your kids help pay bills, because I know in some of y'all houses y'all kids help pay bills, <laughs> they a roommate too. Or you gonna re- or you're gonna require some type of respect because you're the parent. Give that man respect for being your husband. There you go, man. You don't want to be belittled because you. If he does make more than you, you don't want to be little because you make less. You don't want to be feel belittled because you a female. There you you go. don't want to be belittled because you who you are and in the position that you're in. So why belittle him if you make just as much or you can compete with him? It's not a competition in a relationship, anyways. There you go. You know what I'm saying? And I sometimes cringe when people have separate bank accounts. Yeah, that is something Some, you say. And that it's could just mouth. and that just could be for me because we share and we're we're able to be transparent with everything. But for some people, especially some people that I talk to, they don't have that trust factor in their relationships to even share money or to know what's in each other's account and things like that. And so, hey, that's the relationship for them, but that whole 50 50 thing. It's a myth. And I Horace, I see your comment. Um, you can go to our Love Life Legacy podcast business page. We're live there. Oh, and you go can to share one of our there. pages. I'll go to one of our pages. And so another you can share thing from there. I want to say about this 50 50 Oh, and thing. by also means, I see a lot of people's comments and I see a lot of uh, reactions, negative reactions. The phone number's on the bottom, 843-900-4595. Please call in if you want to share your thoughts and perspective. We are not to bash. We are engaging in dialogue. Okay. Please call in if you want to. And my last point, and if we going to, if the 50-50 thing works for you, because it may work for some people, because I think it works for us. I don't even know it's called 50-50. I think I give 100, you give 100. We give 100, exactly. You know, and things like that. Because we're a team. We also share our household responsibilities yes, as we well. Do. You know, Jonathan is the primary cook in our house because his schedule allows him to be, and we all prefer his cooking. <laughs> and my it's just wife certain with things our kids I cook. do everything as far as schedule yep. the doctor appointments, the schedule cleaning, the tutors, the laundry. Schedule the, tu- schedule the tutor, do uh, the, the laundry, like, checking on like their the, grades, stuff like that. The nurturing. We, we have we, our roles that we, we split as well. So it's not that. Oh, he pays the bills or I pay the bills and, and the woman is stuck with all the house chores because she's the woman and that's not fair either. Right. It's it's like it's y'all home, y'all relationship, y'all household, you know, hopefully y'all children or whatever. So you exactly. know, do the work for both people. Be considerate of so one another. So you trying to tell you you trying to say um that People don't know how to be a team. Is that what you're I saying? I mean, I don't know. But all I know is this. Maybe he said, what's the number again? Um, 843-900-4595. I see a comment I in the group. Some people don't know how to be a team. I don't know. I just don't. I just have a hard time comprehending the mindset, even from the, the men of old when the women had to do everything in the house. I don't care even if you bring in all the money in the house. That doesn't mean the woman has to do everything in the house because so, that's still your I house too. I got a couple of comments I can't see because it's coming from the group. It says so basically do what works for your house. Yeah. By all means, yes, we've but always said that and we will continue to but say I that. But I have to have a disclosure when I, when I hear you say do what works for your house. Please make sure because I can't see. It says Facebook user. Yeah, because it's coming from our group. Yeah. Please do what's good for your house and make sure it works for both people in the house because... We've been exposed to some couples and coaching that we have deal with, and it, something works for one person, but the other person is suffering in silence. You know what I'm saying? That's so, a good point. So make sure if you're doing it for your house, do what works for your house. That is actually working for both people, yes. and one person is not, you know, you know, grudgingly participating or, or you know, or unhappy in the process yeah i see somebody uh said uh i think this is horace he said these women don't want to be a team they want to be individuals while in a relationship Mm, in our coupling experience sometimes it be the men that don't want to be a team either now now that go yeah i would say that goes both ways that's not just a female thing because what what we and this is what we are saying from experience because we coach couples what we find in you have a conflict of power from the man and from the woman. So what we do in the beginning is we work to break down the walls so that you come to a baseline where you're willing to give give of your power to gain perspective. 
Yeah. But that's on both sides. He don't want to budge. She don't want to budge. And now they just combating each other. And we say all the time when we coach couples that is going to cost more than money, the money that you pay us for our services. And the money is, in the relationship. And the money in the relationship is going to cost your pride, is going to cost transparency, vulnerability. You got to be able to open yourself up, but that's on both sides, right? I just know that I feel for the women that really do want a man to lead their life and a man to lead their relationship and they can't find that. But that doesn't mean that your experience, bad experience with whatever man that you uh, were in is the only experience. That's what my problem with this whole thing is because we kind of get grouped in this whole thing. Um, hold on, Somebody's call. calling in. Please let us know if you can hear this person once we answer. Yes. Call from Deborah. They said Deborah? Yes, it's Deborah. Deborah? Hello? Hey, Hi. hey, Deborah, how you doing? You are live with the Love Life Legacy podcast. Can you hear us? <laughs> yes, I can hear y'all loud and clear. Awesome. Well, I'm Absolutely. checking in with the group to make sure that they can all hear you, too. So what perspective do you have, Horace? And if you can hear me right now, I'm going I'm to make the group public so you can do what you're trying to do. But, sis, what perspective do you have tonight? Okay, the perspective I have, um, I'm glad to put it out there. Y'all know I, I've been a fan before y'all even... Of yeah, course. A little big and all, right? <laughs> of course. <laughs> let, let me just let me just put it out there for the people that don't know. We go way way back. <laughs> <laughs> we sure do. Okay, we grew up together. <laughs> so, um, so that being said, to fast forward because y'all, some people may know I was married and some people don't, and that's fine because I don't put my business out there like that. But nonetheless, right? I'm um, happy to divorce. Let me put it out there. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. I'm, <laughs> I hate to say that with. Uh, hey. Let me say this real quick before I go into what I'm saying. Okay. I'm not saying that marriage is a bad thing. Let me clear that up. Because my parents were married for 51 years, eight children, 30 something grandchildren, eight great grands. Let's be clear. Oh. Okay. Live. Going on 52 years, God willing, right? God willing. In That's January. Awesome. So, with that being said, marriage is, is a blessed thing if you have the right partner. I will say that. And the reason why I say happy divorce because. It shouldn't have happened. I saw so many things. Me and Eva, we talked about that. Um, bro, me and you had conversations. So I'm glad I did what was needed because I saw myself change a lot. But anyway, so fast forward into what y'all talking about now, the 50-50, it's a great thing when you have the right partner because I see some of the people that was responding say, you know, um, a lot, of, a lot of these women nowadays don't want to be a partner, and I've seen that with my own two eyes. I've witnessed, experienced certain things, even in my own marriage, where a person didn't want to partner with me. It was when it was convenient for them. Oh, when they they want to say, "Oh, I'm the man," or mm -hmm. "Oh, I'm this and that," the household, but you weren't doing that. You weren't displaying that from off the rip, right? But that's my bad because I have kids, right? So with the 50-50 now, the relationship that I'm in is a loving, flourishing relationship. All okay. right. Okay. Hold on. Let me give you one of these you real fast. <laughs> Go ahead now. <laughs> let me say that. His name is Eric Brown. Wait. On Facebook. Good draw. <laughs> his name is Rough Man High on Facebook, but his real name is Eric Brown. So shout out to him. Yes. Um, family man. Love God, all that good stuff, right? There we go. But the 50 50, we are a partnership, you know, because if he's um, short, I got him. And if I'm sick and whatever, and I have been because my sinus are real bad, mm -hmm. he took me care, make sure the kids are good, the household, he held it down. So, there we yes, go. I there believe we go. in it. I so, you guys, share, you guys sharing your responsibilities? Yes. Absolutely. I have. And like I said, I have because I. Um, I had wanted that for a long time, and when you don't get that, and even when I was um, in my early, and I would say I was 22 and I was dating someone older, that person had, I is. Call from Taya. Oh. We, oh. Hold on, hold on, sis. I did something wrong. Hello? Hello? Deborah. Hello. Deborah, that's oh. you? This Tyler? Can you hear me? Oh. I think it got both of us on there. 
You got both it? Hold on. I'm, I'm going to hang up right quick. I got to call Deborah back, and then I'll call you right back, okay? Okay. okay. Oh, that's not your number. <laughs> <laughs> that one. This one. I got it. No. Which one? That one. This one? Yeah. The A30. Yeah. Okay. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tripping. We just got to learn this thing. Yeah, we got to learn this thing. Y'all give us a second. <laughs> Bear with us, y'all. Hello, you have reached the voice message of Deborah. Oh. Please leave a brief message. Deborah, we're trying to get you back. We're trying to get you back. I'm sorry I cut you off. Get, get, we're trying to get you back. There, there we go. Deborah. Deborah. There we go. Sis, sorry. we are sorry. <laughs> we, <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. Go I, ahead. I, was, I was so watching it live. <laughs> okay, go ahead with what you were saying. We apologize. <laughs> No, you're good. You're good. I understand. Um, no, like I was saying, when I was uh, 22 and the guy was 41, um, got a beautiful baby out of it. I was engaged. But before then, we were dating and not realizing and looking like this person had already established a whole lot before I got with them. So it's nothing I could have get you for your birthday that you didn't already have. Right. So it's like uh, this person at, at some point, off and on for 12 years, Thank God I was out of it. Like I said, got a beautiful baby girl out of it. But with that go. being said, also, too, you have to make sure, um, even in age difference, because the person I'm with now is we eight years, but our mentality is there. Mm -hmm. And the heart is there. We there have we a heart like seven. So you have to, because if you don't, it's going to crash and fall. It's a lot of things that we talk about, even, even the hard conversations that a lot of people don't want to talk about. People want to get with each other just because uh, reputation or how they look or what people may think. Right. Or some people stay in an abusive or toxic relationship or where, where and it don't have to be none of those things, but it's not going nowhere, it's not growing, it's not nurturing. Just to right. stay faced with family members, the people that can care less if you live the day or tomorrow. So you have to do what's suitable for you. And even before you say I do and get down the the out, the commitment has to be there in your heart. You have to put it before God, even in your relationship. Not just when you get married. It starts, and that's what people don't get, and that's what they get messed up, and they get ran over. There you go. Well, and they just roll with the punches. No, this is not the go with the flow type of year. It, it, coming out of 2022, okay, you may have done that, and it's okay. Try something yourself. different. I forgive you. <laughs> right. <laughs> but now 2023, step your game up, and that person, he or she, because it's not one-sided, because men go through stuff just like we do. That's nice. So with that being said, step your game up with your partner. If you don't, then you're going to be left behind. There you're you going to have to be trying to play catch-up. So is, is this ain't the time to be playing catch up because what God is doing is miraculous. And if you want to see where you're going at in your life, in your relationship, your friendships, whatever type of ship you got going on, and we ain't talking <laughs> about, this is not for the people that's in situationships. Yeah. We have a real life togetherness, that's partners right. coming into a holy matrimony. We talk, that's what we're talking about. Girl, that's look at you that's trying what to pause. Look at what you, hold on, hold on. Let about. me give you one of these real fast, huh? <laughs> You're trying to pawn. Go ahead with your bad <laughs> self, girl. Yo, we, we appreciate right, you calling and sharing your perspective. You drop nothing but jewels. You got a bunch of um, positive comments in the comment. Please continue to stay on and share in the comments for us, okay? Listen, I'm on y'all page. Y'all already know what it is. <laughs> yeah. We appreciate the Let's support. Let's go. <laughs> All right, sis, we appreciate All right. it. Love y'all. Love Happy you too. Love you. Happy New Year. So we gotta get Taya back. Yeah, we gotta get Taya back. Taya, we we uh we coming your way. I hope we pronounce it. I right. know. I'm about to say that. I hope we say her name right. Hello. 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 You are on with you are on with the Love Life Legacy podcast. <laughs> we hope we did not butcher your name. Can you tell it? Tell us, please. Taya. Taya. Oh, sorry, Boom. Taya. Sorry. This this is the up and coming doctor, and I just illiterate. No, so I mean, <laughs> people spelling names all kind of ways. I was like, okay, so Taya. So what's your perspective? Yeah, what's your perspective, sis? 
my perspective is because first of all go ahead and share your heart because you was on that other thread i saw you Cobra will tell you i just got my ass dragged <laughs> i saw i saw a little how bit of it I say, 50 50 how dare i oh my god i just got dragged so bad <laughs> i oh saw it i'm still trying to find the rest of my ass okay? <laughs> it's gone, it's gone. i'm so sorry i'm sorry sis <laughs> <laughs> so what happened for those that may not have uh, seen the other posts? I forgot well, the gentleman. My, my thought process is this. I my thought process is this. I pay a hundred percent of everything right now, mm -hmm. so I can't turn my nose up if somebody takes fifty percent of that pressure off of my chest. Okay. And I was in situations had I relied a hundred percent on that man. I've been drowning. I, mm. I, I got, you know, I got left. And women be acting like men won't, and no disrespect to all men, because every man won't, every man won't do it. But women, stop acting like a man won't leave your ass. <laughs> come on, come on now. Huh? Stop acting like a man won't leave your ass, and you relied a hundred percent on him. Now you zero from a hundred percent is zero. If you had zero and he got the hundred and he takes the hundred, you have zero. There you I go. I have fifty. Or I pay a hundred. So if he takes fifty percent off of that off of my chest, and what I realized is most of these men, if we go in fifty percent on all the bills, but when we go on vacation, he pay a hundred percent of that. When we go out to eat, he pay, he pay a hundred percent of that. He pay a hundred percent of Come whatever on. it is that I want if I ask him. Come on, man. I, Talk One that. tried to play me like I'm short, but the, 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 the anomaly she gave is if Billy had six apples. Well, let's do that anomaly, sis. <laughs> sis if Billy had six apples uh -huh. and Billy picked all six of them apples, all of them is Billy apples, right? Right. <laughs> but if I share with Billy, Billy might give me three of his apples and he got three apples. We even. There we go. But if I take all the Billy apple, if I take all the Billy apples, he don't get he hungry and I'm full. Or vice versa. It's like what I I just don't I guess I don't understand what the big deal is. I I, I don't I don't know either. And that's why we're trying to understand. That's why we came live because it doesn't make sense to me. And the only thing that we can rationalize with this idea or this ideology is that these ladies that are seeing this just been through a bunch of bad experiences yeah. and we don't we never want to invalidate the experience but we want to challenge the perspective because you did it wrong but that don't mean that that's the only way there may be another way is, I, and i agree with you i did it wrong i'm like the young lady i did it wrong i got two kids i got two baby daddies and I did it the way people said you should do it. Both of my children's fathers, I knew 10 plus years. These wasn't mm. no fly by night men. Right, mm. right. But here I am, two kids. And had I relied on them 100%, I'd have drowned. Right. And yes. I'm not going to hold that to the next man's ass because of what happened with them. So I'd rather go 50 50 with you. And, and and we see where it goes from there. We get to the position where he could be 100, and I'm going to still pour in. I'm going to still put my part in. There you go. There you and, go. And that that's the thing that I want the ladies to understand. I'm like, we we not in granny and granddaddy day no more. No. My grandma, yeah, my granddaddy used to pay 100% every, of everything. And my granddaddy is 93 years old with a 50-something-year-old girlfriend. Is that what y'all want? Because that's what it's going to be. Mm. Let's because go! My 93 with a 53-year-old girlfriend, but he paid 100% of the bills in the house. There we go. We're just not in them days and times no more. You are <laughs> spitting facts. Let me give you one of these, another one of them, one of these. <laughs> Sis, thank you so much for calling and sharing your perspective. I hope you stay on hey, after we get off now. Me. Thank y'all for having me. Absolutely. It was Thank a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Appreciate it, sis. All right. All right. S sorry we missed your call. If you just called in and you couldn't get through, please call back. 
843-900-4595. Just like I just said, right? We don't live in those days and times no more. But you know what I like what she said best? Go ahead. Is that, you know, basically, you know, she's not holding the next man charge of what the other that man was did. Fire. She is saying that I'm willing to be a team player. I'm ready to get on another team. You know what I'm saying? That I'm going to You know what I'm saying? It's like that perspective leaves you open enough to then get that next man that you deserve. Because remember, it's about the energy that we display. That's right. Now, if you don't believe this, maybe you ain't spiritual and you can't flow with what I'm about to say. But energy attracts. And if you are carrying the energy of whatever last man that you experienced, that's the same repetitious uh, uh, repetition that you're going to stay in. But and if you same can just, thing for the brothers and too, for the brothers, y'all, you know, carry. But, but the way. reason why I keep saying that is because I saw a lot of women commenting, not a whole lot of men. I know because we can't because we get villainized, vilified. But if you just change your perspective, keep yourself open, open mind, open heart. I think that you can invite what you deserve and what you need. Oh, we're getting mm -hmm. another call. What I call coming in, Paulette, I liked her comment. This is my brother. Call from the main sauce. What's up, my brother? You finally got a chance to call in. What's going on, man? How's everybody doing? <laughs> Why you sound stressed? He's at work. Yeah, I'm at work. Okay. What's up? What you got to say? All right. So I just got to work and, uh, I asked a young man, he's a young man, probably 23, 24 years old, he's working out here. I said, uh, how do you feel about 50-50 uh, relationships? I said, do you think men in relationships with girls 50-50? He said, yeah. I said, you sure? He said, yeah. I said, well, guess what? Women look at you as a roommate. He looked at me like, mom? I said, yeah. I said, what about being a traditional man? He looked at me again as a traditional man for the nine shared fits. He said, yeah, yeah, that makes more sense. I said, yeah, because when you pay the lion's share of the bills, you don't need a partner to keep your bills and things afloat when a woman wants to leave or when a woman wants, don't want to be under your tutelage to provide it and guidance anymore. She can go find somebody else to deal with. You mm. don't have your things in order in your life to still intact. Your life won't be in shambles. But that's the beauty of feminine, that's the beauty that's supposed to be feminine women. You're right. supposed to come into this man's, this man's tutelage provided and guided almost like a cat. Cats walk around the house like they're pretty all day and do absolutely nothing. Nothing, exactly. Except be pretty. That's all they do. Exactly. But now women, but now women want to fight that. I make just as much money as you. I do this and I do that. And I said, well, young man, going 50 50 with a woman also gives her 50 percent of the fee in the house. She doesn't look at you as a man. Mm. You're going to have a lot of combative women. That's going to push back on your leadership simply because she pays the equal share that you do. Mm. Make sense? He said, yeah. I said, you guys have to do something different. I didn't expect that to hear that from a young man. But then I asked him, I said, you grew up in a two-parent home? He said, no. I said, single mom? He said, yeah. I said, what about your dad? I said, you see your dad at all? He said, no. And I really knew there was no man in his life to teach him that. And I said, oh, my God. This is a young man. This man's 22, 23 years old. Young man. Man. I said, well, my God, we just dropped the ball on this young man. We all have. And I, and, I, and I said, take what I told you and really think about it. Really think about it. Get your stuff together. That's why you're supposed to get your stuff together as a young man. So that you can have a lot going on for you when you get older. Facts. A lot of people are coming together, team bills together, don't know if they're going to be together, not married, not talking about the future with each other. They're just living. Yeah. And when they're trying to live with each other, they break up and nobody knows what they're going to do because nobody can afford to do nothing alone. Then they're really roommates, then. Yeah. That, that, yeah. 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 Nobody can do nothing alone. God. That's what roommates do. They just come together so nobody homeless. <laughs> That's true. And guess what that is? That's very telling of the woman who picked the men that they date. Mm. If he didn't have a solution for you and you decide on this, it's okay to be a roommate, then guess what? That's what you get. That's what you get. Because all I ever hear from women is the pushback of, girl, what if he leaves? Mm. Girl, what if he leaves? That's all I hear. I don't mm. ever hear about, we work together and got this. We stayed out together and made this. You hear it at all. You got a point. You got to ask point. But you got to ask them why women would feel that well, way. Well, and, and that's what I want to get to. But I appreciate you calling and sharing, bro. But you were supposed to go live and you didn't, so I'm picking a bone with you. That man had to work. 
I ended up I ended up going to work. You know I work at night. I, I know. I can't leave seven hundred dollars on the table and ten hours ship. I don't, I don't, I don't blame you, but we, we gonna carry the baton for you, brother. Gotcha, man. I'll keep tuning in, brother. I anyway. appreciate you. All right. All right. Um, yeah, I mean, you do have to ask the questions. You really do. Um, and that's what we at, we said on our other live. You know, uh, I remember Paulette had posted. Um, you know, when you date, do you date, date for marriage? For marriage, and a lot of people don't. They date for convenience. They don't date for marriage, like because people say marriage is losing its value. But I don't, I don't, I don't feel that because a lot of the people that we have in our group, I really do believe that they want to be married. But you have to have the mindset and intentionality to date for marriage. Look what Tamika said. Oh, what do, what do we have here? Some are putting up with it because that's all they can afford. Up the cost on the life you want to live. Great, yeah. Mm, what Paulette saying? All right. Paulette said, I feel whatever you agree upon in the partnership slash relationship should be that. I read like I'm in third grade. I personally think don't want to be with someone who doesn't see the value in me putting in for our family. I feel that both should bring 100% to the table, and that's not only about finances. Thanks. I need him to be the leader no matter what, who makes what. Give me that's that. Facts. Facts. That's exactly that how I feel. That is it. That is it. My wife said, we're not 50-50. We're a team, so she won't stop me from doing <laughs> <laughs> Yes, sir. I like that one. I love that and one. You know what? And, you know, That's Josh, by the way. Okay. The, the difference also is a, another perspective is that sometimes it's, it's not 50-50. Mm -hmm. It's literally what all you can give at that time. It really, it really is because it, uh, responsibilities shift. Yeah, based right? on what you got going on. That's why you have to have an open mind and open perspective. Mm -hmm. I may be down, I, which I have been for the last three months because I had surgery on my foot. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of things. I was your lucky cricket. That you were my lucky cricket. You came through in the clutch. <laughs> there were a lot of things that I couldn't do because I was out of commission. My wife pulls to complain because. We 50 50? No, <laughs> I'm down. The responsibilities shift at that point. So if you have the mentality that everything's 50 50, then you're going to look at that person that's not able to you're give gonna at that time. And diamond and exactly. You're going to nickel dime not only the finances, their responsibility, and their roles in the house. And that's not how a relationship is built. You're supposed to complement each other, not confront it. Compliment, not another confront. person that can't be lazy either. I no, mean, I'm not saying that they're supposed to do their part. You're supposed to be. It's a hundred percent, and however that looks, divvying up. That's what a team is. When she's down, I'm up. When I'm down, she's up. That's oh, when just I'm work. just out of the both of us, I am more busy than Jonathan. So it could be four nights in a row that he'll be cooking and shuffling around with the kids and doing this, and because I am in she's my office gaining a doctorate. And she's working full time. I support my wife's dream, even though I'm sick of school because my <laughs> wife is a professional student. She has dreams. And because I love her, I support her dreams, regardless of what it and looks like. And it costs like. him. So it does. You know, come I on, man. I because at the same time, when I was deployed overseas in a whole nother country, my wife had to hold the house and the kids down. That's what it's supposed to look like. Not the mentality of 50, 50, 100% broken down. Whatever you need to do at that time to accommodate your partner, that's what you be. I don't care people. how many masks you have to put on and take off, how many rules you have to put on and take off, y'all are sharing it together. Yeah, man. The problem again, and I will repeat this, people don't know how to be on a team. In this case, in a team. Mm-hmm. Y'all don't know how to share with another person and another person to share with you. Y'all are two separate individuals trying to make it work. And that's a roommate. And that's a roommate. So they're right. It's not a soulmate. So maybe they do want a roommate. Maybe you do want a roommate. They but do. No, but we don't want you to have a roommate. I want you to find a soulmate. And that comes with vulnerability and transparency. That comes with a, a shift of paradigm. That comes with a shift of heart, a shift of energy, a shift of attitude. Everything that you do got to pivot. You've been doing it one way. Try another one, 
right? Mm -hmm. You've been picking one man, pick another one. You've been picking one woman, pick another one. If it ain't working, you got to shift. People not willing to shift. And that's why we keep hearing the same argument from the same two genders. <laughs> this man ain't this, this woman ain't this. It's the same argument. We got to do better, people. I'm, I'm, if you can't tell by now, I am passionate about this because I love love and I love people to be in a relationship. But I know that this lunacy and this idiocracy that I see spilling out from people's mouths are always going to keep people away from experiencing love the proper way. And it's time for us to grow up, bro. And we, we really just have to grow up. We're not children, man. This is an elevation that I'm talking, an elevation of thought, an elevation of spirituality, an elevation of mind, everything that encompasses you as a person, an elevation of relationship. You just got to elevate higher. That's it. That's it. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be on my tangent, but it just, I'm passionate about it. I like your tangent. Because you sound dumb. Okay, calm down. Sorry. <laughs> I'm you, sorry. You gotta press the buttons. <laughs> you gotta do the gunshots for yourself. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you dumb? Yeah, that was just funny. You crazy. Okay. But shifting, unless someone else has a comment about yeah. that portion of the conversation, but it was something that I posted. Um, I don't know if y'all saw it, uh, especially those that are not in the group. So it was this lady that was saying that uh, she prefers to be a woman of leisure and being a housewife is not a reward. Oh, I did see that. Being a housewife is not a reward. She oh. was like, if I help you build your business or whatever up, however, mm -hmm. um, you know, and you know, you make it, and you making me a housewife isn't a reward mm -hmm. because I still have to. I guess I'm, you know, a little elaborating here, you know, because she still has to work or whatever. She wants to be a woman of leisure. And, oh, I'm gonna find it. You oh. keep talking. Um, some people agree with that, but I didn't. Mm -hmm. I have been a housewife. Um, right that's, here. Th that's it. That's it. I think Jonathan's about. He found it. Oh, He's about to play you, it. You, you best believe I am. Give me a second, y'all. Bear with my slowness. Yeah, make sure you do it right. Got to make sure I do it right. Not, not, if you're a woman, woman of leisure. Being a housewife is not a reward. Being a woman of leisure is a reward. But that's the same thing. No, they're not. No, they're not. If you're a woman of leisure, if you are a woman of leisure, you don't have responsibilities. Your responsibility is being a woman of leisure. If you are a housewife, you maintain and you manage the house. That's not a fucking reward. It's a job. Whether it's only 20 hours a week is still a job. If, if, you, if you trying to reward me because I was there through the tough time, let me be a woman of leisure. Let me be a kept woman. That is a reward. Rewarding me with washing dishes is not a fucking reward. Woo! Thought, honey. I was irritated by the video. Okay. I found the real video on YouTube and I did post it in the group. Um, so a little bit about her, if you didn't see her YouTube video, so she has no children. She's a lawyer, I think. Yeah, um, she's, she's a lawyer, no children. She's married and, um, she runs several businesses or whatever and mm -hmm. she's busy or whatever. So <clears throat> my, I agree with her. <laughs> my, my issue with her is it, not an issue with her, just an issue with her perspective. It could be because I have been a housewife. It could be that I feel like I do have leisure moments and I just don't like the fact that, um, I don't like the attitude. Can I say it like that? I don't like the mm -hmm. attitude behind it because when we have the argument, what a woman brings to the table, we bring making a house a home. Right. That's one of our main arguments. We never articulate or break down what that is of what we bring to a man that's already providing all of the bills and all of that. Like, how do we help him? And then when it comes to taking care of the house, you, you fussing that it's a job or you don't want to do that. You don't want to wash dishes. You don't want whatever, whatever. I'm like, Still, Look at that comment. what a comment says. She looking for an investment property. <laughs> <laughs> she is. Yeah. So my thing is, yeah, like Rich how Rachel says, married. 
Yeah, like what is a woman of leisure trying to say? You don't want to do nothing all day. That's you want to be. That's what you were saying. You I was know. like, I don't understand. This. Yeah, she want to be like the Real Housewives, or she wants to be like you know just a woman that just goes shopping all day. I'm like, so what is your your purpose? purpose. I don't. Or I don't what get else it. do you bring? Like what else? What is you know me being busy, and it could be that I actually you know work and I do certain things. Like today, reason why it took me so long to cook, I was cooking with my children and washing dishes, <laughs> enjoying the moment, enjoying us laughing, enjoying all of that. When John is in the kitchen, sometimes we just play and enjoy the moment. Yeah, we do our chores or whatever, but the fact is that the way she just spit on taking care of your home, I don't like that. Right. It's like an insult. It's like you t washing your dishes or taking care of the house. Being yeah, a home yeah homemaker. it's work, but it should be work that you're prideful. You should be happy Being. because you're caring for your family. Exactly. I not a woman of leisure, but I have leisure moments. Yes. I have days where I go do my little brunch thing or I go hang out with my girls, but I'm not going to say, oh, I want to be a kept woman. I am kept by my husband. <laughs> but but to, to the attitude of because your husband worked hard and you stuck through him through the hard times, it's like you shouldn't have to work or contribute. So he's still going to have to keep making that money. Yeah. So that means you just get to sit on your behind or reap the benefits. Yeah. Like, how are you helping him build? Exactly. Like, how are you partaking and in they, what's going and on? And they'll probably say, well, I'm supposed to be his piece. How? And I'm so, that's you my want question. shop. You want to be leisure. <laughs> You're not saying now, babe, now that, yes, yeah, she has a job. She is a lawyer, Rajon. Yeah. She's a lawyer with several businesses, and, you know, she does her thing. And she was trying to answer for a, a married woman with a family because the guys that ask her, you know, that's her perspective, like, you know, try to get her to talk more about the perspective of others. And I'm like, ugh, don't talk for me. Exactly. Like, exactly. <laughs> like know, what Rajon said, more people talking about a life, life they, they don't, don't live. live. Yeah. And I'm Thank like, you, bro. like it's, it's not like, a reward. It's just the up. way that she like spat on taking care of a home. Yeah, and, and to be honest with you, this is why Horace goes so hard against the modern woman because you hear stuff like this and I don't know if it's the algorithm that's doing it or a lot of women are really do, they, they really do believe this, but it's like ishing on traditionalism at a full effect. What about daughters is going to think? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? What exactly. about what are our sons going to think? Exactly. If we are leaving this image of what a relationship is and what's taking care of a home is. Now I'm not saying you have to be slaving on your hands and knees scrubbing the floors and all that you know, all the jazz. No, use the technology. You know, we got a little robo vac and you know. Oh yeah, well, I love my little I love you know, my little eye robot. Yeah. I be seeing that little vacuum everywhere, bro. You know, we have things that help us, you know, be more efficient. Fashion. Yeah, and things like so, that. Yeah. But to just say you don't want to take care I mean, I'm not gonna lie, we do use cleaning ladies. But the but the to keep up with the, I'm sorry, like that. with the keep up with the natural, you know, the the, the routines of your house is it, not a bad thing, you know. Bruh. <laughs> it's, you're so jokey. I can't even. It's it's not a bad thing, and it shouldn't be spat upon as if, you know, if you have to take care of your house, and you shouldn't be entitled to say once my husband make it. You know, I shouldn't have to do anything because otherwise I don't know what a woman of leisure is unless you just doing whatever you want to do, napping all day long. Exactly. Not contributing to the vision of your house. Exactly. Let me see. You say, if she was living the life she was talking about, I respect it more. Exactly. I want to hear it from the horse's mouth. I don't want to hear from a mule. Yeah. I want to hear from the horse's mouth, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. See, look. Look at the volume. say. <laughs> yeah. Please, come, I know you got come one. Come on, man. <laughs> bro, bro, our house is a machine. Like, we, we just too busy. We, just ha we're too we do busy. have our chore days. Everybody, even the little people have, even John John washes his clothes mm -hmm. and fold and put them up. Him and Elena. We all have our jobs and our role. <laughs> like what what do you Josh, say? Look at Josh think you go <laughs> <laughs> Why you did this, Eva? This is your I fault, bro. I am so sorry. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? I, all I'm saying is I just don't like the fact of some of these attitudes, these personas that's coming out about, you know, just women in the household. You right, Horace. You doggone right. I asked them to post their man and ain't get no response because they got a, a lot of opinions with no action. 
It's like, come on, man. Y'all got y'all got to stop. Y'all got to stop listening to all these other people tell you what you're supposed to be as far as a a, a person that's looking for a relationship. Rather, it's a, a female or rather it's a male. It's like you, you listen to sound advice. Sound advice. I just want to know how many women saw that video, like how the woman that did the side by side took that and really created a value around it. Like, I want to be this woman of leisure. They did. You know man. what I'm saying? And I'm like, what does that look like? You know like? how many videos I've seen but with there ladies are some quoting of them. gorilla lyrics and you 30 plus, almost oh, I'm 40. I'm -E. <laughs> That one? I guess what they think is a bop. Oh my gosh. I'm like, yo. Sometimes. Grow <laughs> up. Like, <laughs> she be singing in the room. Hey, it's catchy. Oh, Mary. If it be on the radio, I just be like, it's oh, a it's the man. Beat. I don't. It's, it's, it's a bop. But no, keeping it at entertainment is one thing. We can laugh and joke, but it's entertaining, right? But people but be when trying you to adopt live it, it out. As philosophy and you live it out, that's a different thing bro you completely have, different it's different like you got to relax celebrate what huh huh <laughs> i know what you're talking about brother <laughs> i don't okay we both listen to the same podcast it's oh because right. i'm slow it's okay <laughs> but yes yeah, so i don't know i don't know what a woman of leisure is i'm not looking for a roommate <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm I'm in this for a real partnership, a real relationship, we someone are. to build legacy with. You know, and for, that's what we be trying for to my do. my children and grandchildren can you know come over and be in our house and you know open Christmas presents and there we go. you know and look back on what we have and what we built and what we have came from and glean from our experience. That's what I'm looking for. And, and, and like you said, we have daughters and we have a son. We have to have a balanced perspective because our daughters may make more than the men that they want to get involved with. And if we share the perspective that we hear the rest of the world talking about that we are exposed to. Oh, the world's perspective becomes louder than ours in their life. Yeah, louder than, then uh, they'll never have a healthy relationship. That stuff well, don't, no, they, it's not a whale. There's not a whale. I'm sorry. I don't want to hear that mess. It's not a well. It's not real world. I don't know what may happen. All I know is that, you know, I just rather be on this side of it. Exactly, y'all. Y'all tearing it up in these comments. We appreciate all of the support, the love, all of the participation. I want to keep talking, but I think we have exhausted. The I topic. did. I don't um, know if anybody wanted to call in to add anything, especially on the women of leisure portion. Exactly. But um, but if not, I think. This one is a dove. I think so. Hold on, let me do one other thing real quick. Okay, you go ahead, mm -hmm. and I'll and I'll get this queued up. Let's go ahead and get that queued up. Yeah, I think that was it. Yeah, I think it's a dove. <laughs> well, I think it was nice. Great conversation. This was an amazing conversation, y'all. We appreciate the participation. We appreciate y'all calling in. I'm glad to hear a married couple's perspective. Absolutely. That is what we're here for. We're here to not only give, give perspective, but also gain perspective. Good night. Oh, Wadi, what's up, girl? Good night. We appreciate everybody being on. Uh, again, continue to uh, that comment. Which one? I don't know who it is. It says Facebook user. Eye opener tonight. tonight, huh? Eva, lol. It's hard to defend the sisterhood when the this kind of foolishness. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. <laughs> it's a podcast. It's a podcast, <laughs> y'all. We appreciate y'all. We are out. Peace. Peace.